Oh no, 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 no. I am so tired. Like, look at my eyes. Look at my hair. I have not. Y'all, I started law school and I wasn't even cute. Like, this is not. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be like a vlog. I'm going to take you guys through my entire week of law school. Today was day one. So I put my schedule up like on the screen of what I pretty much did today. But I was behind today. Not necessarily like super behind. Like I caught up in time for all my classes. But like behind in terms of reading just because I was so tired last night. I'm tired right now. So yeah in terms of what i did today though well don't forget like comment and subscribe but in terms of my day so when i woke up this morning i actually did like a not like a, i wasn't like a speaker but like my mentor she actually teaches a class at oakwood in huntsville and she had me come on and just pretty much talk to the students about like the lsat my law school journey things like that so that was really good then after that i had class at 10 45 i had a break Mm, for like an hour 45 minutes or so then i have my next class and then my next class so i've had three classes today right now i'm about to eat i'm sorry if you guys hear like background noise i was cooking so i had like the fan on i forgot to turn it off before i started filming but so i'm about to eat right now and then i'm about to take a nap like i'm so tired and then after i take my nap probably like 45 minutes or so i'm about to meet up with someone to study to do like all our reading tonight just to kind of like hold each other accountable i noticed that like if i'm just sitting at home i can't study that good last night i studied like out on my patio i didn't study in here i studied on my patio so i think that kind of helped me like break up the you know monotony a little bit but yeah that's pretty much all for today nothing much else really to share i'll show you guys like how i kind of do my readings how i do my notes and all that like after this but yeah that's pretty much it i will show you guys tomorrow update you guys tomorrow in terms of how i'm feeling i didn't speak up in class per se but i think today went really well like all of my professors seem like they're going to be good professors no issues there i'll keep you guys updated though as the week goes along but yeah that's pretty much all for today okay so i am studying well i'm not really studying yet i'm about to eat i went to california pizza kitchen i got a cake and ice cream do you want to introduce yourself to everyone or Hi, I'm Derek. <laughs> oh, yikes. I ain't got my mask on in the video. I'm about to eat, so <laughs> I feel like I deserve an excuse here. Yeah. I'm about to take my mask off. Like, don't let it fool you, because I'm about to eat too. But yeah, we're about to stay. <laughs> y'all it's day two i am now about to give me something to eat i think it's like seven o'clock here i know it's probably dark i'm actually in a parking garage i'm actually in one of usc's parking garages usc is closer to my house than ucla also i just happened to like randomly come to this food place at usc one time and now i really like it it's like a korean place i'll put like a picture up here so you guys can see it but it's really good but just to recap like my day or whatever so I only had two classes today. I had my criminal law class this morning and then I had like a little gap. Well, I actually didn't have a gap. I would have had a gap, but we had our first Boston meeting today. Um, so that was really cool. Like really good meeting. Definitely liked everybody that we spoke with. I think there was maybe like 40 of us on the call. So definitely some representation there was like professors. Professor Kimberly Crenshaw was on there. I know a lot of you guys were asking me if I'm going to have her. She's actually on a sabbatical this year. So I know I do not have her. I don't think I would have had her anyways though. I don't know if she teaches 1L classes. So yeah, did that from like 12 to 115. Had my other class at 145. Got done with that class 
guys at three and then after that i cleaned up my house a little bit went ahead and took some stuff to my um to ups for my job like all my old laptops and stuff i quit that job like last monday i'm just dropping off my laptop so hopefully that's okay i don't know so did that then after that i had a meeting with like um so we get assigned mentors you get assigned a lot of mentors at ucla actually on top of like the ones you can like make yourself because i feel like i've already like made some good relationships with some two l's and three l's myself but yeah so i had like a mentor meeting some of them were two l's some of them were three l's just to kind of like talk about their experiences i asked some questions about entertainment law asked some questions about finals asked some questions about professors that i have that they had before so that was cool did that for an hour they were all like super inviting too and now i'm just about to give me something to eat when i go home i need to read for my torts class and read for my lrw class because i only have two classes tomorrow too it'll be my first day in the lrw class that class is on wednesdays and fridays but yeah like i'm still not feeling like crazy i don't know if it's because like I don't know how to explain it. I'm not feeling bad. I'm not feeling anxious anymore. Now I'm just like, okay, I know what I got to do. I got work to do and let's do it. So yeah, I'm going to go home and read tonight. Try to not go to sleep at two o'clock in the morning again, because that's getting crazy. I know y'all see these bags under my eyes getting darker every video, but yeah, that's pretty much all for today. I would show you guys like USC's campus, but the way their campus is, so like if I go to UCLA right now, I can still like walk around. On USC, they have like gates closed. It's kind of like crazy up here. So I couldn't really even show you guys much. But yeah, that's pretty much all. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. So it's Wednesday. <sighs> I'm tired. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm just tired. Like I'm tired. This is about to be me. This is about to be me ranting for like four minutes. So skip if you want. But I think you should listen. I think you should listen. <laughs> so I'm tired. Number one. I know yesterday I said I wasn't like feeling too bad, feeling too anxious, whatever. So let me tell you guys, like, and I'm pretty sure I always explain this, but this is like my real personality. I need for everything to be in order. But it's crazy that I'm like that because that's not how my life is. Nothing is ever in order. <laughs> so it's kind of just like I'm always trying to make things in order, but it never happens. And then I end up just like being on go mode, like go, 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 go like working for some type of perfection that is never going to happen. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but like, for example, I'm sitting on my bed right now. <sighs> my bed has clothes all over it. That's driving me crazy, but I can't find the energy to put the clothes up. Like I started, I folded six towels, but I can't do anything else because I'm sleepy. I, <laughs> I was hungry. So I walked to Chick-fil-A. It was hot. That aggravated me. <laughs> Now I'm back home. I ate my food. I tried to do the rest of my reading because I'm also behind on my reading, which I'll tell you guys, like at the end of this, I have a whole new schedule. I'm glad that like, this might be good or bad, but like this first week was really like a trial run for me because through this first week, I have realized that everything I have done is wrong and I'm not going to continue doing it. Like next week and by next week, I mean Friday, two days from now whole new game plan starting all over because like I needed this week to be like I needed this week to drive me crazy for me to be like oh no 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 I am so tired like look at my eyes look at my hair I have not y'all I started law school and I wasn't even cute like this is not me like I don't know <laughs> y'all probably like what but listen like for real like I was just trying to do too much at one time. I was focused on too much, trying to do too much, just needed to like scale back and be like, like I should have scaled back maybe like last Friday. I should have scaled back, like started completely over and just been like, forget this apartment. This apartment will get together when it does because it's still not. Forget trying to go here, here and there. Stop going out to eat for two hours. Read. Like I should have done all my reading last Friday and Saturday. I should have like got all my notes and like notebook and like my labeling and everything done last weekend it's like i'm doing all that right now currently like and to be honest with y'all right now i should be reading 
I started reading. I wasn't retaining anymore. It was just like, I can't even retain this. So I'm going to read the case briefs that he gave us. And then after class, I'm out of class at three. I'm going to take a nap. I put a note in my phone in all caps to take a nap. Because if I don't take a nap, I'm not going to be any good, like at all. So I need to take a nap. And then I'm going to wake up and do my reading for today, like finish it. I got halfway through and I skimmed everything else. So let me not say I didn't read it. I read it enough to be cold called and BS through it. I did that much, but like thoroughly reading, taking my notes like I usually do. No, I literally can't. Like I'm just so tired because I got up this morning because I was behind on my reading because yesterday after I got done with that mentor call after I ate or whatever, I came home. I, what did I do when I got home? I don't even remember, but it wasn't anything beneficial to me. I think I read like maybe two pages and then maybe I, did I start cleaning up again? I don't remember what I did when I got home. I didn't, I don't even think I got home until like nine something. Did I go to Ross? I don't even remember. Y'all see what I'm talking about? I don't know. I think I just came home and did nothing. I think, no. I drove to Ross, was going to go in Ross, did not go in Ross because the line was too long. And then I ended up being in traffic. And by the time I got home, it was like nine something. And then at that point, I was just like over it. I like took a shower and sat in my bed on my phone, I think, because I tried to read. And again, I wasn't retaining. Got up this morning. I did my reading for LIW, took my notes, briefed my case. I was good to go this morning. I set my alarm for like seven. I didn't get up until like 830. But still, by like 930, I was done with that. It wasn't too bad, actually. And then I had class from 1035 to 12. And then right now it's like one. I have class at 145. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to read through these case briefs again before class though. I'm not going to just like go into class and have no idea. But then yeah, I'm taking a nap after this. Then when I get done, I'm going to actually thoroughly read what I was supposed to read for today. Thoroughly read what I'm supposed to read for tomorrow. I kind of got lucky because our criminal law class and our civil pro class are both behind, even though I have those classes tomorrow. So I don't have anything new to read. I'm just going to like brush up on what we already read and what we talked about. Besides that, I don't know. Friday, I'm going to like type up all my notes. I think I'm going to buy Apple Pencil and start using good notes to take my notes. I'm not sure. I need to do like a lot of research this weekend, but I have a new plan because this plan for this week is horrible. My plan is to do my hair. First of all, like I have not washed my hair. Not like too long. I washed my hair like a week ago, but still like my hair needs to be done because that's going to make me feel better. I also need to get more organized around this apartment. I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon. I should have. But that's not my main focus, though. The things Latasia will be doing this weekend, no matter what, no matter what, are sleeping. <laughs> I will be typing up all my notes, like I said I was. I will be getting all of my reading done on Saturday. And on Sunday, I'm going to do an entire day of review session, outlining, making sure I'm on the same page as someone else. Like, that's what I'm dedicating my week to, my weekend to. Anything besides that, it doesn't matter. I need to eat, obviously, but it will be quick meals. Like, I'm just changing my whole game plan. So I just wanted to come on here and rant about that. I think this will be more like five minutes of ranting instead of three. But yeah, I just wanted to say that. Just get it off my chest. Now I feel better, actually. So yeah, I'll check in with y'all when I wake up from my nap. And then yeah, we'll go from there. So y'all, it is now Thursday. I am at the beauty supply store. So I had class from 1045 to 12. This morning, I had a doctor's appointment. So at UCLA, they're making us get like a flu shot. We have to get like all these other like, you know, tests done to make sure that you're like up to date on your, what is it, immunization? Immune? Yeah, have all your shots pretty much. So I had to go do all of that. They had to like give me a... Um, tetanus shot I had to get the flu shot that was my first time getting the flu shot so hopefully I don't get sick also like I don't know where my medical records are I wasn't born here I've lived in like four or five different states if not more so yeah they just did like this antibody test to make sure that I don't have anything I need to get done again I'm pretty sure I don't I'm pretty sure I have all my shots but yeah they took like nine of those little things of blood so that was kind of fun not really um but yeah so I had class now I'm at the beauty supply store then I need to go grocery shopping and then I have class again at one 45 i have class after that at 3 30 then i think i'm gonna try to clean up like really quickly and then after that i'm meeting somebody to study from like 6 30 to 10 hopefully something like that so yeah that's pretty much all for today i don't really have much else planned i know that's like a lot though but i don't have anything like super exciting plan but yeah so i'll show you guys when i go in the store show you guys when i go to the grocery store hopefully if it's not like crazy in there if i'm not rushing and then i'll talk to you guys like while i'm cleaning probably and then when i go study so yeah so my hair doesn't like like shea butter 
and cocoa butters and stuff. So I think I'm gonna get these. I obviously use the regular green one of this, but I wanna try this one too. It's gonna get a small one. I think this is new. Cause y'all can tell like my edges have not been laid in a long time. I'm gonna try these out and then look for some other stuff too. So ignore my pants in my car. But so I ended up getting the pink edge booster. I got the lemon berry scent. I don't know if it's like $9.99 is high. I don't know. And then I got the these, like I said. And then got this. And then I just got this wild growth hair oil, like another one. So yeah, and that was like $40. So yeah. So change of plans. I realized that I needed to take my um well mail my key and stuff back to my other apartment. So they emailed me back and said that I could do that. So I'm walking to the post office right now. I also need to eat. So I'm either gonna get some ice cream or a slice of pizza. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Go ahead. Y'all, so it is like 10 30. We're supposed to be in here studying, and this is what Derek is doing. Uh uh, don't do me. They're playing the sauce of music. <laughs> no. So, y'all, it is now Friday. I am laying on my bed, <laughs> like just laying here. Um, So, it's like three something, I think, almost like maybe 3 30. I need to. Well, I just got out of class, so I have my LRW class. So I just got out of that class. Only class I have on Fridays is from like 1, 1.45 to 3.10. So I did that. Right now, I am about to get ready to go to this like um virtual student org fair. I cleaned up a little bit today. Still need to clean up some more. I also need to go grocery shopping. And then when I get back, I'm trying to decide whether I want to type all my notes like the ones that I wrote this week. Do I want to type all those up? Do I want to start making an outline early? I'm heard for like torch class, you should start making outlines pretty early. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to like take a nap. I really don't know. I need to wash my hair. My hair is like so, my hair is like so just like, I don't even know. I just put some stuff in it. I'm about to put my scarf on so I can like lay it down a little bit. That's why it looks so like white like that. But I don't know. So like pretty much the rest of the weekend, what I need to do, I need to type up my notes. I think I am going to try to type them up. See how I like that. Like see how I like like doing a review every week, like typing my notes. Going to do that tomorrow from nine to five. I'm doing reading with someone else. We're going to meet at her dad's house and do like all of our reading from nine to five. Of course, we're going to take a lunch break, eat like 12 to one or whatever obviously take like other breaks in between let's be real but nine to five reading sunday gonna meet back up with Derek. nine to five review for the whole week compare our notes compare our outlines make sure we're on the right page for our notes and stuff that we read that we did for next week like all of our reading that we did we're gonna do all that nine to five on sunday do it all over again on monday besides on monday i will be well rested fingers crossed on Monday, I also will not have any reading to do besides like for our torts class. He gives us our reading during the week. So it kind of makes it hard to read ahead because you really don't know what you need to read. And you really don't know what he's going to get through in class. So that kind of makes it difficult. But yeah, I'm trying to get all my reading done, like read ahead, all my notes and stuff done on Saturday. On Sunday, like consolidate all that in my head. Say like, okay, this is what we learned last week. This is how it may apply to next week and then be ready for next week. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I need to record the Q&A video that you guys are going to see before you see this video. So, I might film that after this student fair, honestly. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll record that in like an hour or so, actually. So, yeah, film that Q&A. Edit that Q&A tonight. <sighs> yeah, I need to go grocery shopping today, though. I'm hungry. And I'm not buying any more food out. This air fryer is the best thing ever, y'all. Like, if you do not have an air fryer, get an air fryer. Like, I cooked, I've cooked chicken, I've cooked steak. Delicious. Everything. Vegetables, everything. Really good. So, get an air fryer if you don't have one. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have much else to talk about. I have, like, a headache. And my, like, arms are still sore from the shot. But they said that would be the case or whatever. And then, like, I don't know. 
I don't know if I have any symptoms from the flu shot for real. I don't think so. Like last night I was like, I don't know, kind of like dizzy or whatever. But besides that, I think I'm pretty good. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you guys. Pretty sure I'm going to keep vlogging tomorrow and Sunday. So I'm not going to end the vlog just yet. I need to get up and find my scarf. So yeah, that's all for right now. So it is now Saturday. I am at um, Nicole's dad's like apartment room. We're like in a study room. This is my stuff. You guys can see. So I have like my notebook, my laptop. She has her books over there. Um, my skin is going crazy. Pretty sure that's like from stress or whatever. I don't know. It's like clearing up at the same time, but then breaking out at the same time. So maybe it's like purging. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we have like planned to study from like nine to five, like do all our reading today. Um, I'm not really like tired yet. I'm just hungry. <laughs> it's probably like almost 11 now. I just had to run to Marshalls to get pens. Kind of spent like 30 minutes in Marshalls buying other stuff in my apartment. But yeah, so about to do my reading. We're probably going to go eat at like one. I'm going to do my reading for torts first. That's what you guys see here. And then after torts, also like the way I do my reading, like I Google stuff. Like if I don't get something, I Google it. And then I make like a note in like layman's terms. But then I make sure that I like, is layman's? Is it layman's? Whatever. I make my notes or whatever in like terms I can understand. But then I also write down like the real word too. So I can know that. But yeah, so doing my tours, then probably going to do criminal and then probably going to do civil. And then, yeah. Sunday now. I am about to study again with Derek. We are about to go through all of our notes for the week, make some flashcards, all of that. Um, it's already like, what time is it? I don't even know. Hold on. It's already like two o'clock, past two o'clock. So we're probably going to be out here. I know we're probably going to be out here until like seven, eight, maybe. I really don't know. Um, and I have to pay for parking for all the time I'm out here. But <laughs> I'm really upset about that. But, um, yeah, so I didn't do much else today, though. Like, I got up. I finally washed my hair. I did a mask this morning. I cleaned up some more. I cooked. Nothing else, though, really. So, yeah, we're about to study. I didn't bring my tripod, so I don't know how much I'll be able to show you guys, but I'll try to show you a little bit. How did you think that little package was a young man? I told you it didn't feel like what I wanted. <laughs> but it said yoga mat and swing. I swear it did not just say yoga mat swing. <laughs> this is why you go shopping class. <laughs> 
Okay, y'all, so I'm about to end the vlog at this point. We are not done studying. We walked to try to get something to eat, found nothing. He ended up getting some, how do you say it, boba? You've never had boba? Why would I have that? What do you mean, why would you have it? It's good. <laughs> no, I don't do like smoothie type things. It's tea. I don't drink tea. Okay. Anyways. I got boba. <laughs> it's good what we're here for like ending the vlog off so i wanted to do like a recap of my week obviously but i figured it would be good for you guys to hear from like two different perspectives so pretty much for me i'll start because derek has no idea you know what i'm even about to say so, <laughs> so pretty much for me i feel like i need to work on my schedule i need to work on like not only like trying to be like prepared mentally for class or like i don't know i feel like i need to work on like physical too i feel like i've had too many headaches this week like just too much i feel like i didn't prepare properly at all like i feel like i didn't do my reading i know like you did your reading like what the saturday before i didn't do that i was doing too much reading during the week like this week i actually caught up like this morning i actually read i had to read for criminal law and civil procedure this morning i forgot to mention that so i had to read for that but like all my reading is done up for monday now though so hopefully that'll help me because last week i didn't do that i was reading for monday on monday so don't ask i had to read in between classes because i was behind and then like yesterday i had to catch up on like two days of reading for torts plus monday's reading for torts but now i'm like all caught up so i need to work on that also i want to like work out i say this in every video don't i y'all i want to work out but for real though like i feel like that'll help me to like have more energy yes there i had the craziest workout the other day i'm still sore from you worked out where in my apartment oh you got weights and stuff resistance bands i told you <laughs> for context i i accidentally snapped some resistance bands working out and i had to order new ones yeah but one thing i will add mm -hmm. from a different perspective yeah because i think i did a good job of reading the weekend before so yeah. i wasn't reading a whole bunch throughout the week but i think i need to stagger it a little bit more because i ended up taking my whole weekend last time Oh. And reading and then still had to go back and review during the week because i think i just didn't ask myself the proper questions as i was reading mm -hmm. because when we got to class like yeah i knew what happened in the case but i didn't know why it happened in the case mm -hmm. or why the decisions were the way they were mm -hmm. so i think just talking my way through the case is very helpful um yep. but other than that i think i did a good job with like waking up on at a decent hour before class, not too early, not too late. Yeah, you um, did. <laughs> yeah, I was waking up like... I've been going to sleep at 2 o'clock still, y'all. 12.30 is my cutoff for all technology. 2 a.m., 2.30 for me. And then getting up at 7 because I'm behind on my reading. That's ridiculous. This is why my eyes look like this. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to go to sleep. And I even set... Remember, I set the alarm on my phone to go to sleep at 10. <laughs> Not yeah. being bypassing it every night. I was actually going to do that. Set up the person by I had, like I had an alarm on my phone to go to sleep at 10, y'all. Think about it this way. <laughs> if an alarm goes off, uh -huh. are you likely to be alarmed and awakened <laughs> or go to sleep? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't work. I did start listening to deep sleep music, though, to go to sleep. Like, when I do get in the bed, if I put my deep sleep music on, I'm sleeping, like, three minutes like seriously you said you like r&b though put you in like a more like relaxed space yeah like that new tink album that's not r&b tink is not r&b what is tink if you guys listen to tink down below tell me is she r&b or is she more like you it's like hip-hop tink is not hip-hop she sings but it's like a certain type of singing that's like type, a whisper he's that type of singing is not going to put me to sleep i'll be <laughs> lit that's not gonna put me to sleep i'll just say that what kind of singer you listen to to go to sleep like georgia smith I do love her, but no. She would, to sleep she would though. Or but like, that's um, that's Mahalia, what's her name? Mahalia, do you listen to her? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Mahalia, I like her yeah. too. Okay. That Love and Compromise album? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that put me to sleep too. Yep. I didn't realize. Sorry, y'all. But <laughs> so, in conclusion, if you two are looking to go to law school, I would say get your readings done ahead of time, but not too far ahead of time because you'll forget and you have to read it again. So just read as much as you can so that you're caught up. Don't get behind on your readings. Like, no matter what, do not get behind because you'll spend so much time catching up. It's crazy. I would say also, like, review every single week when you're done. Like, that's what we're about to do. We review for torts now. We're about to review for criminal law and civil procedure. Um, I would say also pay attention in class, take good notes in class, 
like good notes based on what they say too don't take notes on what's on the screen listen to what they say because they give you hints in what they say pay attention to that take notes of that what else go to sleep get sleep eat well rest one thing pray I, whatever you do <laughs> one thing i did this week um i started doing this at the end of the week because at the mm -hmm. beginning of the week i was just lost and confused mm -hmm. um after each class i spend maybe like two three minutes max just recapping verbally what they were talking about oh that's good that's good so that way like even if i don't remember all the little details i get the gist mm -hmm. so that when it comes down to like the end of the week i know what i talked about in class mm -hmm. or at least what they talked about because i didn't talk at all right that makes sense also i feel like next week for both of us we both need to work on probably like asking more questions yeah getting our participation points I started writing out <laughs> questions in the readings, like where I was to confused, ask, yeah. specifically in crime law, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's one thing, too. I'm going to start participating more. I'm going to start going to office hours because neither one of us went last week. But I felt like for this week, though, I was like trying to get the hang of things. I didn't want to be the person asking dumb questions in class. I didn't want to be the person asking something that the professor already said that I didn't understand. Like, I really wanted to Push get the group. People, y'all. <laughs> we've had we've had a few microaggressions already Thanks. a few conversations in class that were like did you really just say that we've had people ask questions and then lose their train of thought in the middle of their question and we're just like so now we have to sit here for two minutes and wait for you to figure out what you meant literally that's happened more than once we've had people ask there's some people in class that ask a question every single class. We're in the same section, FYI. But we've had people who ask a question every single class, every single five minutes. Yeah. And like with Zoom, like people will ask questions in person and then ask the question in the chat too. Mm -hmm. It's just like, now you're yeah. starting a debate. Ex that, on purpose, on purpose. Because just because I'm in law school. Two things. Yeah, I'm just in law school, so I want to argue. Literally, we've met people like that already. But there's also good people. <laughs> there's nice people. There's cool people. There's people that have asked questions that have helped us, too. Like, people Facts. that ask questions, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad you asked that. Yeah. Because I wasn't going to. <laughs> so completely. Or, like, that's something that was in the back of my mind I never thought mm -hmm. of or never verbalized. Yep. Yep. So I'm appreciative of those people that ask questions that other people are afraid to ask. But my, my thing is though like, yeah. that's based on perspective partially because yeah. like the questions we may think are stupid someone else might have had that question yeah and probably did so we probably them, should like, just speak up yeah yeah so we're going to work on that um it's not necessarily for me that i'm scared to speak up i just don't i feel like because we're on zoom other people are going to feel the need to chime in and i'm not asking you I'm asking the professor. Plus, there's always like a long <laughs> line of the little race yeah. hair feature. I'm just like, by the time three questions have been asked, I forgot what my question exactly. was. Exactly. It's just a lot. Zoom, actually, I don't know. Let's talk about that, too. We haven't been in law school before, obviously, but I feel like going, like doing law school on Zoom, it can be good and bad because I feel like we have recordings for our classes they're sending out the powerpoints for our classes so we can have those they're even like they're doing a lot of like um like we didn't have to buy books for most of our classes because they're doing the stuff online like printing it out for us or whatever we're putting I the pdfs the online he still bought the books i rented my books i didn't know that they were he doesn't listen at first. <laughs> no because i bought my books the week before we started so i bought them oh. one week okay but i also do like having a physical book it helps me with like making notes and things and asking questions book briefing yeah yeah because i can't really do it on the computer yeah and printing is low-key expensive so low key, right. what i would spend on printing out passages from the book i probably spent on no nah, that ain't true that was a 300 dollar book yeah no no but by the, by the end of the semester maybe no okay so yeah rent your books if you can that's another note. Actually, maybe try to get PDF version <laughs> before that even. Um, I don't know. How do you feel about Zoom school? I don't know. I, I guess just, we don't have anything to compare. We don't have anything to compare it to. <laughs> I would say we're missing the interaction piece. Um, oh, not, true. Not only just between us and our classmates, but say someone asks a question 
like if you were in person you would be able to raise your hand and respond to the question mm -hmm. but because there's like the raise hand features there's an order to who gets to ask their question when mm -hmm. and so once they ask their question the professor responds most of the time no other students can respond because there's an order to this like there are other students waiting to ask their question right that's the one thing that i don't think is helpful because there's times where like debating or like pushing back on questions and responses helps me learn mm -hmm. perspectives See, uh, and i, feel I don't like know I'm missing that completely yeah um also though it's kind of weird because you have the chat going on, on the side of zoom you have the professor talking you have people getting mad on screen because they're ha they have their literal hand up and nobody's paying attention to them i'm just like it's a like, lot happening on the screen the you have people eating <laughs> Yeah, which that was me. Yeah, I was me. eating pizza last week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just It's just a lot going on. And whereas if you were in class, I think it would be way easier to focus on the professor. Whereas on Zoom, also even like being on Zoom all day is kind of draining, honestly. Facts. Like just sitting there at your desk all day is draining. Especially like for people who wear glasses. Before I got my new glasses, it was starting to hurt my eyes at the end of last semester when I was just an undergrad. Mm -hmm. uh, just staring at the computer all the time. I had to get the blue something lenses. To oh, I know what you're talking about. It yeah. protects me from the glare. But like sometimes even still just staring at it is too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't think I don't think the first week was bad. It wasn't. It was just a learning experience for sure. We definitely picked up on some things that we need to do differently. Take better notes, speak up in class, get our reading done in a, not even like beforehand, just get our reading done in a timely manner that mm -hmm. makes sense. Um, review after each class, review each week. I bought Quimby. I'll keep you guys updated on it if it helps. Today, did Quimby help us? No. No, it did not. Not for Taurus, it didn't. But we're about a to see. Strange. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> It was a strange. It did not help at all. <laughs> Maybe for criminal law and civil pro to help. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to say in this vlog, guys. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.